In this video, we're going to be setting up inbound routes. So when somebody calls your business's phone number and your voice over IP services provider then gives the, your PBX that information, what does your PBX do with it? So when somebody calls my business phone number of 347-552-2258, does it go straight to voicemail? Does it go to one of those interactive voice recordings where it's like, press 1 for customer service, press 2 for technical support, press 3 to get to a real human being, something like that. It's going to... You, you can choose where the phone calls go. So in my business, we have it set up so that when you ring 347-552-2258, that it rings every phone. So the four phones at my business are in a ring group, similar to the one that we just set up. And when you call that number, it's going to ring the ring group. The ring group is, is set up with every single one of the extensions of everybody's phones here. So let's set up an incoming inbound route here. So let's just go to the uh, PBX. We're going to go and type in 192.168.2.5 for our PBX. And to set up an inbound route, we're going to go to Connectivity and click Inbound Routes. Now, from here, we're going to add an incoming route. So the description of this route is going to be customer service, and that's going to be our primary number. So the D, so when we click that, the DID number here needs to be set to the number, but it has to have a 1 in front of it. Very important here when you're using Voice Pulse, you want it to have a 1 in front of the number. So I'm going to set up 1-347-552-2258, and I'm going to call this number customer service. Now we're going to have all this stuff here, basic, basic stuff. Call recording, yes, I want call recording. Caller ID lookup source, this is another important thing. So we're, you can use OpenCNAM as a source, uh, uh, but if you're getting a lot of phone calls and you want a uh, real, real uh, caller ID, you may want to use a different set, of, a different type of caller ID. This only works for 10 incoming calls per hour, 10 unique incoming calls per hour. At my business, we use a separate system. So my business is set up where our caller ID lookup is actually hooked into our CRM system. So if you call our business and you have a ticket here, it's going to say, on the on the phone screen it's going to say the name of the customer and it's going to say the status of their ticket so if they've been if they've been invoiced but waiting for them to pay i can pick up the phone and say hey did you get the invoice so it kind of may it kind of creates this uh, this seamless Seamless ease when, you, when you're just dealing with people and you know exactly where you are in your transaction with them. If it says new, you can say, hey, we're still working on it when you pick up the phone. If, it, if it's in a status that that person is particularly annoying to deal with, you can say, okay, I'll let him answer. <laughs> you know, it, it, you can do a lot of different things with caller ID lookup. Here, I'm just going to set it to the basic open CNAM. And again, you can change caller ID in the system. We're going to use this just for the purpose of this video. Now we scroll down here, and the most important part of this is setting the destination. So we're going to set this to a ring group. It's going to be set to go to the customer service ring group. So when you call the customer service number, it's going to go to the customer service ring group, and that's pretty much that. We hit submit, and that's good. Now I'm going to create another one. I know that this gentleman who is getting the phone system set up is going to have another phone number. So we're just going to set up a different number here. We're going to call that boss number. So we have customer service and we have boss direct. So again, you know, if you're if you meet somebody on the street and you see and they say, "Oh, well, you know, we we could really use uh, that type of service," you may give them the customer service number. If you meet somebody at an at an executive party and they say, "Hey, I like your business idea. I'd like to talk about giving you ten million dollars," you may want to give them your direct number. So a lot of businesses have two different numbers. A lot of businesses maybe want to be set up with two different numbers. So this is the kind of thing you should talk to that business owner about before you set up their phone system. But over here, let's just put in a different number. 347-552-2257. Again, I'm just making this up as I go. I don't know the exact phone number that's going to be here yet. So I'm going to click Call Recording because I want to showcase this feature later. Caller ID lookup source. I'll set open CNAM. And the important thing here is I'm going to choose the boss's ring group here. So the only the boss's phone will ring. So you remember how we had ring group over here? We have ring group of customer service and we have ring group of boss. So I'm going to set this to ring group of boss. So now when you ring this number, that number is only going to be directed to the boss's phone. That's the um, basic idea behind incoming routes. And again, you can set an incoming route to go anywhere. You can set an incoming route to go to an IVR, which is that hit one to reach tech support. Hit 2 to listen to more annoying prompts. You can set it to go to a specific extension. So if you only have one extension that you want that to go to, you can also have it only ring a specific extension. So instead of creating a ring group for the boss's phone, 
I could have just created and I could have just said, just send it to his extension. And there are many different ways that you can do this. Uh, for all I know, he may wind up adding a second phone for him or he may wind up having a second person uh, who, who winds up uh, answering phone calls for him. Maybe his business expands and he gets a receptionist for his own services. So I just set up a ring group for him. But if I, if I wanted to limit it, I could set it so that this goes directly to his extension. You can do it any uh, any one of these ways that you want. And that's incoming routes.